I envision being in a different realm, sleeping, but in my dreamland, I'm fully awake that I'm somewhere else, and other people that I come across, <clears throat> mainly on YouTube, but may maybe even in person, that like Stephen James, for instance, I envision that he's not even here on Earth. And because he's like the keeper of the gates of hell. And... And he's able to visit you in your dreams through the YouTube platform. Because I've heard before that whoever the, or whoever Allah is, because there's Allah and then the Mahdid, so Allah is basically considered Satan, but people believe him to be their God. It's either one or the other that they can't physically be on earth. They can't physically do that. So... It's like the Matrix scene, but you're, because you're, do you even have a body? That's the thing. Uh, do you even have a body or are we all computer programs? When they say they're looking to upload your brain to the computer, and then you think, that's so stupid. Why would you want to upload your brain to the computer? Well, what if um, they, what if that's exactly what it already is and you just don't know it? They already uploaded your brain into a computer because we're all computer programs. And that's how, when you die, you easily get transported to the next. It's either an upgrade or a downgrade, depending on what you... Depending on what you did here on Earth. What do you do while you're here on Earth? The levels of the works that you do. Well, there's nothing that you can do to get yourself to heaven. You can't work your way up to it. But it's because of... It would be because of your spirit that you already have is why you would go. So it's like the people that are tapping in to the YouTube platform. Not only are they not here on Earth, but they're also not even here in in the timeline. I don't want to drive in four wheel driving. So Jonathan Click finally did a video with the title Time Traveler because what I showed through that art museum footage, not only was it confirmed the very next day by Jonathan Click, but all throughout and then, you know, it's always the closer we keep getting to just whatever the change is the change of the thing that I've been looking for but I don't know exactly what it looks like but I know that there's an energy and a spirit that is leading in that direction and the direction is change of power obviously the devil when he's bound for a thousand years a day is a year, year is a day. A day is as a year in biblical prophecy. The time in heaven is a lot faster than it is on earth. So when we're talking about heavenly timing 
a thousand years. It never made sense. Why would why would Christ reign for a thousand years? And then he gives up his reign to Satan again after he was already bound for a thousand years. And then how come Christ said, in your generation, you those that pierced him will see him again? How's that possible unless if it was unless the thousand <clears throat> thousand day period that he was talking about or within two thousand years that it would be, you know, days. And what is two thousand 2,000 days, it's, I don't even think it's six years, is it? It's right around there. Satan gets bound for a thousand years, and Christ reigns on earth for a thousand years. Well, we couldn't possibly be in that thousand-year period of the millennium reign right now, right? Because it sure doesn't seem like Christ is reigning anywhere because the world is still being ran by the devil. Uh, even, even if he is bound at this exact moment. Like, in other words, there was a seal put upon them and that's why Stephen James hasn't really talked much in the past thousand days or so. But when he's loose, <clears throat> it's for a little season. What is a season anyway? According to the Earth's, the Earth's uh, regulations, how to how does demonic freezing cold temperature is sent our, in our way to, to kill people and animals and homeless people and everything. Uh, a season is four months. There's somewhere else in the Bible that says something about for a time and a season and a time as a year because three and a half years is a time, times and a half a time. So a time and a season would be 16 months, roughly. So if Satan's loose for a little season, um, rattling, I love rattling, then he just may be loose for four months, or he may be even five. I want to so bad. Well, <clears throat> you know that five-month period of men being stung? I, that could be, that, that qualifies for a season, a short season. Because who is he, who, who's going to get stung anyway? It's going to be people getting stung with the truth. Because when the Satan, when Satan's time is, here's how I see it anyway. You know, I'm no Bible scholar. So, these are just my opinions uh, towards my interpretation of Scripture. And I've learned that, apparently, my interpretation of Scripture is, well, it's, it's been, it's been uh, challenged and attacked. But usually, if your interpretation is being attacked, that's because you're dead on with it. If you don't know what you're talking about, the demonic platform of YouTube, with all the devils in there, they are not going to bother attacking you because you don't even know what the hell you're talking about anyway. So you're not even, you're, you know, you're perfectly fine on the YouTube platform because the House of Thieves, the king, owner, ruler of it, the devil, loves when people don't know what they're talking about and they spew their garbage or you know the script that he handed them and gave him a purse along with the script but my interpretation 
it's there's nothing that I'm trying to deceive anybody with I don't have ill will bad intentions with anything uh, even when I write in Gematria I Robin Henry T's discovered Stephen James Sean as the Antichrist 666 in the simple Gematria that's what I discovered because I come into the YouTube platform reminding people like 2 Peter 3 8, 3 8, how, you know, they say, where is the promise of his coming? And for since then, your fathers fell asleep. And, and I get to, you know, remember that <clears throat> the day is that the Lord is as a thousand years. And that whole thing. <clears throat> I came in reminding people about the return of Christ, the second coming. The spiritual beginning of May 21st, 2011. And then, recently, Stephen James made a video after he said Harold Campbell was a false prophet, but yet he's still going to use his date, May 21st, 2011, 13 years, 13 days later, he's saying he's heading back to, go. he's going to, to the Lord in heaven, um, and that would be on June 3rd, 3 six or 3 six, you know, 6 three, 3 whatever, as he claimed, 2024. But I also heard before that the people that get defeated, like this, um, these alien, uh, alien beings or whatever they are, they're gonna, they're gonna say that they're just going back home. They're just leaving, but really they got their asses whooped by Christ. That's what really happens. But I forget exactly what group of people that is that says that. And that's what it reminds me of. So when Steve is saying he's heading, he's going to, you know, Satan's going to rule this world <coughs> for for a thousand years, then he's going to say that the Antichrist, in other words, he's, he's the Christ, he's leaving, and the Antichrist is going to rule this world for the next thousand years so good luck see ya i'm out of here i'm going to be caught up in the air with the lord and um that's not how it works anyway because nobody you don't truly go up there unless you did go up there and you're part of the 144 that you guys went up there may 21st 2011 and you actually did get raptured because you were part of the group of people that got raptured up to the literal heaven land above us. And then you came back down. Because I remember Derek Bros talking about that. As if he knows the people that went up in 2011. I don't know, maybe it was for a day or something. And then you came, you came back with all the knowledge that you needed to start again down here. And then, you know, basically be all disinformation agents. But there was a, a first seven years of plenty from 2011 to 2018. And then the last seven years, and then here we are towards the last three and a half years, regardless of the Great Tribulation period, point blank, end of story. Who's going through the Great Tribulation? The Tribulation Saints. Not the church. When does the Antichrist return? Sometime after the church rapture, before this, the during, I forget what some people say. But nothing ever seems like it's right now, even though it is. All of it is right now. Everything's happening at this moment. So if you're looking to get raptured up and you're going to disappear out of this earth, you ain't going nowhere. You're just part of the Tribulation Saints um, or brute beasts that are made to be destroyed in these days or just people that are their destination is hell no matter what. 
and they're gonna die in her sin and then whatever you know I guess you just start over again if this is some kind of a purgatory waiting period and then you either go up or down when you die you may go up or you may go down and then even if you go up doesn't God still have you guys come back down the true you know the angels the that have to because there's worlds without end right this isn't the only one so the same likewise don't the devils when they go down to the pit they get assimilated into a locust and then they come back up and then they hunt the souls of men to make their pillows fly or something along those lines So I believe that Satan is bound. The restrainer, you look at it as, okay, well, what, what's the Holy Spirit is going to be taken out? Could that have already have happened? Because Steve said it did. Well, he said I said it did, and then he did a video saying the same thing. He usually confirms my words. When I say something, and he'll say it as if it's a joking, mocking manner, but he's just really confirming the truth. He's like, so you're saying that the restrainer has been taken away, and me, as the Antichrist, I'm on the rise. <clears throat> you know, the restrainer could have already been taken away not because it's not ever you can't ever take it completely out of the world the restrainer is just taken out of the way like let's say on the YouTube platform the absolute truth of the matter of everything isn't being taught it's not like Paul Begley's name dropping and and explaining you know art museum footage it's not like John Clegg is name dropping even though he's going all the way around the bush of everything without specifically saying who it is that he's focusing all this time on because of all the energy that I that I've uh, it's not like I'm forcing people to do anything either that's why you keep that's why that's why John John the Clark keeps doing it because I know the feeling it there's so much stuff and information that I can't collect it fast enough. I can't distribute it out fast enough, even though it's as fast as it can be from east to west. But I feel like I could do it more efficiently if I had more time to, uh, you know. But I, that, I can that can only happen if if for some some way people start watching more. You know, the word gets out. And let's say instead of Jacob Israel, for instance, getting 50,000 views and all of Derek Bros's uh, subscribers go to him, Derek Bro says, hey, go to Robin. He's the truth. And then they drop, you know, everybody else who isn't uh, me. And then I get those views and then those views pay the bills because let YouTube pay my bills with their advertisement. And, uh, but... Again, that can only be after seven years because it's not time at the moment. I've already tested it. It's not time yet. And then that's how... That's how the YouTube house can be cleansed. We can all see what the art museum footage ha it has done. All the lost sheep in this world need to see everything that's the truth. They, they, they have to see it because that's how this earth gets cleansed and then it's on to the next one and on to the next one and on to the next one.
on to the next one. Worlds without end. I don't mind doing this all over again, um, but to do it in a way where I'm already established and I don't have to go and do all this work anymore, I'll, I don't mind doing it for an eternity just as long as I don't have to work for a living. And the cost of living is either free or it's very low and easily attainable. And I have, I have like an eternity of hours to put stuff together to uh, prove the existence of God. And that's my whole purpose here. That's, that's what I'm doing. I can prove time travel when I didn't believe in it at the beginning of this year. Never even thought twice about listening to people that talk about it because it's so ridiculous. And so I didn't, I didn't really like Back to the Future too much because it's like, come on, really? But then, wow, that's really true, isn't it? I just didn't hop into any kind of car. I just went to the art museum, put on an X app, recorded uh, eight songs of Vertigo of U2 on a random shuffle, let that video play and record what I'm seeing with my eyes and put it together and, and all of a sudden you got time travel mixed together. And Lucifer setting the stage to worship God by using music. So any of the nonsense that Steve says, and anything that I say about him, is he really the Antichrist? Or is he just acting like he's the Antichrist? Is Jonathan Cleck the Antichrist? But the Antichrist is, is known to be the most wickedest man in the world. Jonathan Cleck doesn't seem like he's wicked. He may have seemed before, you know, like four years ago, prideful and because he knew the secrets and it's like hey, I, <laughs> I can speak in a language that you can't you don't even know what I'm saying and then I caught on to what he's saying and then all of a sudden it seemed like he got humbled but Steve on the other hand he doesn't seem like he's humble he doesn't he doesn't seem like he's ever going to repent for calling me a liar because he knows damn well that I'm not lying which means he is fully lying. But at the same time, without Steve and James name dropping and latching on to me this entire time without letting go, and I never left them or forsook them either, even though he's all, even though he's never really been a it's not like he's been a good friend that I can I mean in the beginning kinda because I was talking to him, but he was I was deceived. I'm talking about now when I know the truth. Um, yeah, he doesn't have much. He doesn't have any nice things to say about me. That's why I appreciate John from Denver because he he has nice things to say, and they're really legitimately true. Because it's not like you're saying something that isn't true about what I'm saying and doing. You're seeing it. Obviously, it's there. I mean, I don't know what you know about the Bible and. Probably, I'm sure I know less, but I get to walk it out and show the world that needs to change, that God truly does exist, and um, he's in complete control from beginning to end regardless. Even if we can't see it, he is already. It's already been done, so. <clears throat> and then, without Jonathan Click reciprocating the information back and forth to me for the past four years I don't even it, it's like a combination of everything really it's John from Denver has always been a good uh, commenter you know like the exact opposite of John Quentin Wise but John Quentin Wise is a branch of Stephen James's spirit so when you have a combination of someone that's Someone that does name drop in a positive way, John from Denver. Someone that name drops 
in a negative way, Steve and James Strong, and then someone that reciprocates my information back and forth to me on every single video for years on end is what kept me going. As soon as he called me a nerd, he knew exactly what he was doing. Uh, I almost didn't even watch that video, but somebody said, Jonathan Kleck just called you out today. I went, huh, what? Let me go see what video you're talking about. And I seen that, I'm like, wow, what are you doing? Are you, you're like name dropping. You sure you want to do that, Johnny? I, you might give me all your subscribers. But I had no idea the magnitude in the future. But apparently he did. <laughs> and a lot of you do. You, you already know. You're probably even walking around my body right now as I'm just laying in a tube, still sleeping from birth, waiting to die in this flesh so I can wake up and meet everybody you know maybe I'm in a coma maybe it happened when I was a toddler a baby that I don't remember and then I get trapped into this dreamland world and then I wake up out of it realizing that I truly am in a dream yeah I can control my dreams right now but it's not like a, it's more like a nightmarish kind of a dream because who feels like working for a living? You get tired. It's just what it is. The greatest thing in life is to do what you want and not have to worry about finances. That's it. Not sleeping out in the cold and the snow because you're homeless and unfortunate. And the God of the weather could give two shits about you because they don't care about death. They don't care if you shiver yourself to death. Did they ever die like that? Maybe if they did, they would change their mind and be a little bit more lenient and let go of the freezing cold weather changing button. But nope, that's not the way it works down here on this planet Earth, prison planet. What did I do to, de to deserve to come here? Or did I not do anything and I was sent here on a mission because apparently God knew that, well, he already knew that I was going to do it because he already knows my future. But I still have to do it, though. That's the thing. Like, even though the art museum footage is the most miraculous thing I've ever experienced in my life, and it was already done because obviously... I was only eight years old when you two made that first video 40 years ago. Um, and I just happened to, I forget which one it was, but <clears throat> between the eight songs, it's between 33 years and 40 years ago. The footage is identical to my footage I just recorded this year, so it's a literal impossibility that that can actually be a true thing. But it is true, and you're seeing it, and that makes it a miracle. And, but more of a miracle is that I even thought of something to even go into that direction to even want to do videos and record YouTube songs in the first place. That's the miracle. And then to watch it and see it and line it back up and, and go over and over and over and over again. And that was checkmate for Satan's kingdom right then and there. Now, I don't know. Maybe a seal was put upon him then thousand days from that point on I mean who knows I don't know the timing of stuff I can't focus in on that I can't focus in on who's who either really because it's so mind draining that I feel like I have the characters and then something else happens and it's like, ah, oh, no, wait, that's not, that can't be him. I can't, you can't be that person. No, wait, Steve, you can't be King David. King David wasn't, was he a liar? Well, yeah, I guess he was a liar. Was he a murderer? Yeah, um, he was a ringleader. He had Uriah murdered because he slept with his wife and had a child and tried to, have him go sleep with her again. Then he put him on the front lines and got him slain, you know, slain. But does that mean he actually killed him? 
So, but that kind of sounds like Saul at the same time. And then Saul being Paul and then Paul, you know, the whole thing is like, uh, will you, will, when will you guys just say who you are already and stop acting like you're somebody else? Which brings me to what Steve and James said <clears throat> seven months ago about one of the videos I was just watching today. The Book of Remembrance one for it's like a half hour long. He said, Jonathan Click, he hasn't opened up shit. He thinks he opened up the Book of Remembrance. He's, a, he's trying to steal my crown. And then today, I guess it was meant for the, me to see the video. Jonathan Clegg said that he he gave Stephen, his friend, a white rock, which means crowned. Not that Stephen deserves the white rock, because Stephen James, does he deserve a white rock? If I gave him a rock, shouldn't I give him a black one? What has he done to deserve the white rock when he's lied about me all this time? Well, because by doing that, he actually anoints me, is what he's doing. It's actually an anointing. It's it's just a, it's like it, you know, it's like a roast. You get roasted, you get busted on. They really love you, but it's like they can make fun of you, and it's funny. It's like that. And, but with with him saying Jonathan Cleck is stealing his, trying to steal his crown. Here's what I think that might mean. Between Jacob and Esau. So let's look at. Jonathan Clegg is Jacob and Stephen James is Esau. And let's look at it as Jacob is Christ's representative, like uh, Adam and Steve is the devil, uh, Esau to Harry, uh, Jezebel, um, the spirit coming after the woman that is uh, the woman that's crowned with the 12 stars and, and um, you know, Israel, coming after Israel. The woman, the church, Israel, Jacob, not Jacob Israel. That may, that may be, Jacob Israel might be just, he could just be the devil's, um, he, Elon Musk is a robot, right? He's not really a human being. All right, so Jacob could be, I looked at, I said it before, maybe he is, the actual Lucifer's son, right? And then Lucifer being Satan, and then Satan being Stephen James and Asu, Esau coming after his brother. Now, if <clears throat> <clears throat> you can always juxtaposition because I've been confused by that too. Because after all, we're we are in Babylon and it is confusing, but I'm trying to figure out the confusion. I'm not the one doing it, I'm not the author of it. Steve is. Same author, Gematria, 666. So, if Jonathan Clegg is trying to take his crown, then Jonathan Clegg would be trying to act like he is Stephen James to Sean, meaning the devil. But he's really not. And then that would be my conclusion of how... Jacob would be trying to steal the crown, meaning the devil. Now, <clears throat> was King David the devil? Because that doesn't line up either with Stephen James saying he's the king. But there are two thieves, right? And Derek Bro said, don't pick a side. Because if you got two thieves, you got the you got the light David. And then the dark David on each side of the cross, of Jesus and the cross. And Peter and Paul, because they're twins, which is the Gestus and Dest Destimus or something like that. I guess it's Destimus. St. Peter and Paul Basilica is in Philly. The landscape in front of the art museum. The tree of life. The tree on each side representing a knowledge of tree of good and evil on each side of St. Peter's Pecker's parking lot, right in front of the art museum. The tree of life is crucified, and there's two trees, one on each side of them, bound 
to him. Looks like there's two people with their hands tied. Uh, because the real seed of David would come from Christ himself after he's crucified. How things go backwards. You know how things go backwards? The beginning is the ending. The ending is the beginning. You start out in the New Testament, even though it's, you're writing the Old Testament. But you start out in the New. Christ gets crucified straight off right from the gate. And then go, and everything goes backwards to, you know, uh, Ezekiel and King David and, uh, and, and like that. So one way I thought is the seed of David which it, Christ comes from the seed the bloodline of David but that's um, because uh, you know Christ comes from David's spirit himself after 70 years because didn't David die didn't he die 70 years old I gotta look that up but 7 years you know a day is a year and then Christ comes from him, meaning himself. It's still him. Because even Stephen James said, uh, Yeah, I'm, I'm Elijah, Moses, uh, John the Baptist, Asu Manuel. I baptized myself. So it's like the same spirit can be in one person, and it just continues on with the, the timeline, and then next you become your next role. Like, being John the Baptist, for instance, you're proclaiming Christ is coming, like back in 2011, and then, and then Christ actually shows up, and then, but yet he was proclaiming that Christ was showing up as John the Baptist, not realizing he's going to turn into the Christ. Like that, like that's one way I thought of it. And so, because if you take the devil's crown. If you're trying to take the devil's crown, Asu is the one that made his, like Steve made his simmering, cooking chili bowl, bowls of chili soup videos back in the day. And Esau, he sold his birthright for a bowl of chili. But yet at the same time, he says his birthright was stolen. As if Jacob stole his birthright. But he's the one that gave it up for... It's like, wait, you gotta make up your mind here. Sure, you can have my birthright. I'm gonna die anyway, is what Esau said. Did he not say that somewhere? But he knew that he was gonna die. Maybe he knew the future. Maybe he watched the YouTube videos that showed the person taking him down. So he's like, here, Johnny, <laughs> you can have it. But then he says he's trying to take his crown because he's trying to take his title as Satan. Um, or, or, well, wait, before the or, Steve said Yahweh is really the transgender God. And he said Yahuwah is the Father. So I can't help but to think he's talking about Jonathan Cleck as Yahweh. Um, you know, like Inky. And then him as the camp of the saints makes war with the beast. Hitler born Germany, Jonathan Vargo Cleck playing. See, I mean, it's the notification that just popped up 39 minutes in. Because <clears throat> you can even... It's five... 37. When this video is uploaded in an hour, you'll see that Steve uploaded his video in an hour. So as I'm talking about John the Click, <laughs> go figure. I feel like Steve is saying he is claiming to be God, just like the Antichrist. Will do. He claims to be God as the Antichrist, coming against Christ. Because that's what the Antichrist does. But what if he really is God? Because it does say he puts himself on high and calls himself God and stands in the place at, and, and shows that he is God. 
But why would he attack his own son? Maybe that's why Christ was on the cross. When he was on the cross, he said, My God, my God. Meaning the two of them. Mom, Dad. Why, uh, why did you forsake me? Or even, my God, my God. Mother, Father, Creator in one. Why are you forsaking me? Could be that. But nevertheless... Steve is saying father all the time so he just may be referring to himself um, as Yahuwah because all these names you, you know Yahweh Yah, Yah, Yahweh Yahuwah Yeshua the son the father Holy Spirit um, so if he's talking about Jonathan Cleck as the Yahweh he's he's saying that because he was talking about John Cleck in the video as he he talks about Yahweh in the Gematria as he says Yahuwah is the father and Yahweh is is basically a transgender God and um, you know so Adam Eve I know that I've nailed it. I've gotten it, my interpretation right, but the only problem is I'll juxtapositions at a certain point and then probably drift off when I was right in the first place. <clears throat> but it's confusing and exhausting. But I can't stop. That's the thing. I, so I just can't. So I need to know this information. This information. Because i got to read through disinformation agents. The ones that know the truth, and they keep hiding it. But why would anybody want to try to be somebody else that they're not? Like, I wouldn't want to... I wouldn't want to try to claim to be the devil. Can you imagine... Jesus walking around the earth... Trying to get you to believe that he's the devil... Because the devil walks around earth trying to get you to believe that he's Jesus. So why wouldn't Jesus do the same thing? Well, because he's not a liar. Like his father, the devil. You know, the literal flesh father, not spirit. And that's why I think the devil tries to play as if he's got the, the father of Jesus when he truly is, you know, through spirit, I mean, through a flesh but not in physical form. But then again, if that was the case, and the seed of David, Christ comes from the seed of David, and if David was the devil, but yet he's a man after God's own heart, I mean, that's something to really think about there. What if King David was the actual devil? And... Christ came from his seed the literal seed I mean there's a lot of what ifs because I again I my interpretation my my thoughts it's all pure thoughts I, I purely think this way and I all I want to do is just know what the actual truth is because it makes it easier for my mind But um, I have to I have to learn it in spirit first, and then that's what I've learned. Once I learn it in spirit, that's why I throw things out there because I don't know. But man, if I catch on to it and I say it out loud and it's true, someone like John the Click will definitely bite and he'll reciprocate it back, and or someone like Stephen James will he'll play a clip of something I say that is absolute true but he'll mock me as if I'm a liar but yet confirming the truth because that's that's what he does I forgive Steve for lying about me because lying can you be forgiven for that but if you're if you're claiming the holy spirit isn't in existence through those lies well then 
you're a goner. So I wonder what Steve is saying now about Jonathan Vargo Click. Because uh, it's always interesting when he attacks his brother. You know? Because doesn't Esau, isn't Esau, doesn't he come after Jacob? And Jacob is kind of like hidden out, hidden away. And thinks his brother's you know because Steve is a good actor he does he can make you think that he's really gonna he's like you're gonna get smited but it's just all an act and he gets people he scares them into you know converting their wee wee Be, you know nevertheless the beast and the false prophet they get thrown into the lake of fire anyway so and then they burn with the word of God for the rest of their eternity. They burn with, because uh, that's what you got to do. You got to get the beast and the false prophet, and you got to burn them with the word of God. Throw them alive, not dead. Throw them alive in the lake of fire. That way they can live. And the dragon, who is the devil himself, just like. Christ and his father is a spirit, the son of perdition, Stephen James Deshaun. If he's the son of perdition, then that means the dragon is just the devil, Satan, in spirit. It's not a person. The spirit gave him his power. Just like Christ, his father, God, gave him his great power power and authority over Satan. And then wouldn't that be a kicker if Jesus and Lucifer were twins? That would be something. Because Lucifer, and then what if Lucifer was Judas? The son of perdition, Judas. Because Satan entered into Judas, right? But didn't Peter... Wasn't... Didn't he... Didn't he have the devil in him too? So maybe Peter was considered the actual devil. Right? And Paul was considered the Lord God. That's why you got Peter and Paul on the cross next to Christ. Peter and Paul. Because I heard at one point that Paul was basically like God. He was like God. And, but also as an antichrist because he was attacking Christ. That's why he was saying to him too. He's like, Paul, Paul, what's up? Just like he said, my God, my God, why are you forsaking me? And he's like, Paul, hey, Paul, Paul, why are you persecuting me? But that was after his resurrection. That was after he rose up after the cross. Finding Paul and asking him that question. There's two witnesses. There's Enki and Enlil. One from above, one from below. You can't have any more two better witnesses than the ruler of the above ground and the ruler of the below ground to witness to Christ on earth in the middle of paradise. That's why God comes down here and rules and reigns down here on earth. But in the meantime... It sure doesn't look like it. So these are all the things that I'll just throw out there. Are they true? Well, I don't know if they're true. But if they're not, I would like to be corrected. And I just would like to know the truth. Because it would, um, it would make my life easier. 
my brain can settle down, not smoke so much. I feel like when I take a shower and I put my head under water that my head sizzles. Like the inside, of my, the mechanisms sizzle. You know, my computer chip. Because I sure do consume a lot of information. So there you go. If if John DeClegg is trying to take, steal his birthright like he's saying, then it would only be because he's trying to act like the devil. Because, because John DeClegg does point to himself a lot when he talks about Satan. But um, with Satan and Lucifer being two different people, then that kind of changes things. Like Derek Bros said, they're, they're the same, but they're different. And then, so one of them is Yahweh, and then one of them would be Yahweh, or Yahuwah. One of them would be the male, and the other one would be the, the male female. Just like one, just like Inky is the illegitimate child, although he was born first, and then Enlil is the rightful heir of the throne because of the apparently the bloodline keeping it in the family where the mother or I think the half sister the king I think the king has to I forget Enlil's mother would be a sister or something like that or or what not and then was Judas a real was Judas a bad guy or was it because of him that he made it known to the world who Jesus was? Because it's like he he confirmed it is what he did. When he betrayed him, he confirmed it. And then this time around, I think he went into the future and realized, oh, wait a minute, I'm going to keep the money this time. The hell with giving it back. But 30 shekels really isn't much money. But in the book of Judas, Christ did say, Judas, your star has deceived you, buddy. Because he had his 12 disciples with him. They were all surveilling, gang stalking Jesus while Jesus was following them. Even though Jesus said, follow me. So they said, okay, well, we're going to do that. And we're going to gang stalk you. And who's Thomas? Was Thomas the leader of the Gangstalk Corporation? Was he the one that needed to put... Like, basically, he's the one that needed to put his fingers through the holes. Like the one nailing him to the cross. He needed to put his hand through his side because... Was he the Roman soldier who pierced him in the side? And these are all questions. I don't have the answers to them. But I know there's people out there that have all the answers. At some point, everybody's going to teach the truth. And then nobody's going to have to say, you know, hey, do you know Jesus? Who? Who's that? Everybody will know. Every eye will see him. Every tongue shall confess. And, um, and then, you know, everybody lives happily ever after. <laughs>